Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to highlight the active cell uh, and the active column and row in a workbook. Uh, but first, re reminder to go to ExcelVBASQL.com. There's a ton of hours of video on learning Excel and VBA. Um, if you have questions, contact me. Uh, but right now, let's get started. So, let's say we have uh, data that looks like this. Uh, just a couple columns. Um, you're, you might have data that goes out, you know, 100 columns or 500 columns. And, and it gets, you know, burdensome to try to, you know, when you go out that far, to try to see what row and column you're in. So let's just write a macro to highlight the column and the row that we're, we're in, okay? So we need to somehow identify, when I say highlight the column and row that we're in, I mean every time I move my mouse, I want to be able to highlight uh, this column and this row. So at every place I move, I want to be able to highlight. So how do we do that? Well, you have to use the uh, built-in Microsoft Excel event functions. Um, so to do that, you just go to uh, the Visual Basic Editor. You can press Alt F11 and the screen will pop up. Um, and then you want to go into the This Workbook uh, object here. So remember, usually we create uh, modules by inserting modules, but to access the workbook events, click on this workbook and then you'll have a blank screen pop up here and you'll have these two drop-down lists and you want to select uh, the one that says workbook and once you do that automatically uh, this private sub workbook open uh, happens and we, we used this before uh, remember to make uh, the macros run at 3 a.m. like when you're sleeping you could work while you're sleeping by um, opening the Excel workbook and, and kicking off a macro using this and we remember from that video uh, that you know there's a ton of events over here and this is the workbook open event so when the workbook opens uh, that's an event that Excel is aware of and you could uh, do things when that event happens in a similar way you can go down here and, and find another event called uh, sheet selection change and if I double click on that um, now I get this uh, function which or subroutine uh, which is a workbook underscore sheet selection change and it passes in a, a, a sheet as an object and a target range as an object and what we're concerned with in this video is this target okay because what's what this target is is on the worksheet when I change my selection say I move from this cell to the one next to it well this is the target right here C4 so that's the target so I can identify at that point the target column and the target row and I can highlight the cells so that's what we're concerned with in this video of just using this uh, this target range here we're gonna we're gonna pull the column and the row and then we're just gonna we're gonna color it okay so let me just remove this and let's get started with the code now all we need it's pretty simple is a variable to index over the rows and columns so I'm just going to do dim i as integer and then I'm going to do a loop right because uh, what we want is to do something like this for i equal to one to uh, remember target is, is is a parameter it's passed into this uh, this function and we could we could access it so we could do target dot row uh, and we could do what do we want to do then so now we're gonna loop from the first row which is whatever my target is sorry I gotta end this for next uh, next whatever my target is say I move to this cell I just right right there in that code I said you know give me the row of this which is four and then I wrote the loop to go from uh, one to four okay and all I want to do there is say uh, is say cells you know I comma target dot column dot interior index and uh, sorry interior dot color index is equal to six and I just pick six because I think that is uh, I'm pretty sure that's yellow so now 
Um, remember what I did. Um, I'm just looping from one to whatever row uh, th that I moved to, and I'm changing the uh, interior dot color index equal to six. So the cells, uh, this object has a property called interior, and it also has an object called color index, and you could change it. Um, I'm not going to list out all the color in indexes. You could Google, you know, interior dot color index Excel, and you'll see, you'll get a list of all the color indexes. So let's try this out now. Okay, so we don't need, we don't. All we have to do is save this, and to run it, you know, all you have to do usually for a subroutine, you have to go up here and run it. But since this is an event, remember this is an event. This is a se sheet selection change event. So we don't need to run anything. As soon as we click here, it 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 fired okay because it's an event now watch what happens it's highlighting everywhere I move if I move here it highlights from row 1 all the way to the target row if I move here it row 1 all the way to the target row and it goes all the way you know however far you it's like a it's like a paintbrush almost um, because it's just gonna keep it's keep it's gonna keep doing that um, okay so that's cool now one thing we see is that you know we don't want that to happen because at every selection we're, we're just adding more color but we only want the the column so let's just go in here and let's uh, as soon as this event fires let's remove all colors so to do that you just do excel or cells dot interior dot color index and then you do equals excel none Okay, so that's going to remove the color. As soon as this fires, it's going to remove color from from the worksheet. Okay, and there you go. So now you see we're getting closer to what we want. Everywhere I move, it highlights from the first row to the uh, target row. Okay, now we just have to add the column part, which is very easy. Uh, all we have to do is copy this and we just move it down. And instead of from one I equal one to target row, you just do I equal one to target column. And here you just switch, you know, target uh, target row, comma I interior index equal to six. So now if we run it, you know what this is doing is going from the first column, so A, to the target column, and it's going to change cells uh, whatever row this is in. So if this is in row five here, it's going to go row, you know, A, A5, B5, C5. So there we go. We see it, right? Um, it's th This is now what we want, right? So at, at every place I change, move my cursor, it highlights the active column and the active row. And it's pretty simple. Um, it uses the Microsoft Excel uh, worksheet se sheet selection change event. So th this is key. Like it... You know, in an interview question or something, um, people might ask, you know, how do you how do you fire uh, an ev an event? Well, you have to go to this this workbook uh, object here and do what we did. You double click this, you come to that blank screen, <coughs> you select workbook here, and then you have access to all the events up here. And this is just one of them. Okay, so uh, that's it for this video. Um, <coughs> I think this is pretty useful. If you have a, lot, a large data set, often it's a real pain to say, am I in row, you know, 8,000 or 8,001, or am I in column, you know, AK or AL. So this with huge data sets, which a lot of people do, uh, this will make your life a lot easier because all you have to do is put that in the <coughs> sheet selection change event up here and just save it. And once it's saved, um, it's going to work just fine. And again. Uh, the main thing here is that this is an event. Remember that this is an event. It's not a subroutine that you write. It's something that Excel has embedded in it, all these events up here in this drop-down list. So get familiar with that if you want. I mean, there's a ton of them. Um, and also, if you want to download this code, uh, if you want to take a look at it, and also download this workbook, uh, you can certainly do that. Uh, remember, go to ExcelVBASQL.com and send me questions. Thanks.